You're right there, Chaos here today, going over you PC gamers out there, is it worth overclocking your CPU in your rig to get better gameplay? Okay, so overclocking in a nutshell, very, very simple, is increasing how fast the CPU works by increasing the core clock speed, so on and so forth, and adding some voltage to it, perhaps, all right? So is it worth overclocking your CPU? My rig that I'm going to be testing it on is an FX8350, standard clock, turbos up to 4.2. My overclock is 4.5. It is called by the Evo 212, it's got 16 gigabytes of RAM, it's got the GTX 970 WinForce Edition by Gigabyte graphics card, it's got plenty of juice in there, it's got Windows 10 64-bit, latest NVIDIA and latest AMD drivers. So, games that we're going to be testing today are a nice mix that I personally enjoy, thought I would show it. Batman Arkham City. Shadow of Mordor, Dawn of War 2, Retribution, and Total War Warhammer. Bit of a tongue twister. Okay, so let's crack on with Batman Arkham City. Stock speeds, I'm going to be showing all of these are 1080p at max settings. So we've got the minimum 36, average 81, max 141. Then as soon as I overclock the CPU, we're hitting 44 88 and 153 so there is a noticeable increase which is all good in my books let's go over to shadow of mordor so stock is 49 average then is 68 and max is 91 not bad at all let's overclock it minimum 49 average 70 max 92 not much of an improvement okay but it's still noticeable, let's say. Let's crack on to Dawn of War 2 Retribution. Minimum 32, average 60, max 117. I then overclock the CPU. Minimum 35, average 68, max 132. Noticeable improvement like Batman Arkham City. Le last but not least, Total War Warhammer. The stock it would be minimum is 54, average 64, max 69. I then overclock it, minimum 56, average 65, max 70. So, as you can see by those results, there was an increase in certain areas. Now, with overclocking your CPU, it is going to be dependent on how demanding the game is on your CPU. So as you can see there, two of the games you had quite noticeable increases, but the other two negligible. So if you're running games like SimCity, simulators, RTSs, things like that, you're gonna notice more of an increase. Whereas if it's a first person shooter per se, you may not notice as big an increase because it's gonna be more graphically oriented and bound gameplay. So I hope this video has been useful. If you have liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with everyone you know. If you had experience in other ways, let me know down below. And stay tuned to the channel. I'm going to be bringing up plenty more videos like this. So you all take care. Chaos out. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to see the other videos in the playlist, you've got the left hand option. If you want to see the content that I have on my channel, you then have that middle option there. And if you'd like to join the Chaotic Crew, please don't be afraid to click that button on the right hand side. You're more than welcome.